Now, you know I reviewed this. This, of course, is the ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 13 running Lunar Lake. Obviously, efficiency, battery life, OLED display, sub one kilogram. Uh, I looked at it. One of the best laptops of 2025. It's going to be there as far as in the running for laptop of the year. There's no doubt about it. I mean, un unbelievably light, under a kilogram. Uh, check out the review. I'll leave a link in the description below. So you may be wondering, why do I have another X1 Carbon Gen 13? Well, there is a slight refresh here for 2025, and I picked one up to use as my personal device, especially for travel. But this one is running Arrow Lake. So one of the limitations of this one is that you can only go up to 32 gigabytes of memory. And that's a limitation to Lunar Lake, nothing uh, limited by Lenovo. But this, of course, is great. I have no problem with it, especially with the battery life and the efficiency that it gets and the good enough performance for everyday tasks. That's certainly the case. But sometimes you need 64 gigabytes of memory. And this one I fully decked, I fully decked out. I went a little bit crazy on this one. I spent a little bit of money on it. But of course, being my personal laptop, not a review unit, I want to make sure this would fit my needs. I got 64 gigabytes of memory. I got the optional 5G on this. Uh, I got a terabyte. I think I got a terabyte of storage or whatever. I, it's pretty decked out. And I went with the 2.8K OLED touch to display, 120 hertz. This is the non-touch on this lighter version on the Lunar Lake. But of course, let's find out what we get in the box. And let's see the difference between Lunar Lake and Arrow Lake. We're going to find out right now. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is the ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 13 Arrow Lake Edition here, or, or Edition running Arrow Lake is what I should say, and that is coming up. All right, so let's get this out of the box here. So let me move the other unit out of the way while we get this thing unpacked, and let's do it. All right, so we get our typical inner box that we get with Lenovo and I think it's made out of bamboo and something sugar I don't know sugar cane I don't know it's uh biodegradable it's help, it's good for the environment apparently and then of course I think I got the GAN charger should be the GAN charger uh this one I'm hoping it is and they're pretty compact and yeah it's I believe this is the GAN charger or no it's maybe it's not uh I have the GAN charger that I got with the uh, X9 that I did. So uh, we'll see. Obviously, I can use that. But this is a 65 watt USB Type C charger. And this is the power supply along with the power cord. Let's put that to the side and we'll get a measurement of the weight in just a moment. And there she is. All right. So this. <laughs> This ripped off. All right, so I could tell you right off the bat, it's going to be a little bit heavier than the uh, uh, the one I have over here, which of course is the Lunar Lake. So let me move this off here for now. You know, I always love unboxing these think pads especially when they're clean because it won't stay like this for very long uh this is that black now for some reason they call this the eclipse black which is the lunar lake version and this one they just call black on the new one right here with the less fingerprints so uh i can tell you just holding them just for the first time there's a little bit more weight on this one, on the Arrow Lake, than on the Lunar Lake. Not surprising. Uh, we'll get a measurement of the weight in a moment. We'll compare the two. Uh, let's do the you-know-what test. Of course, we can do it here. And there it is. And I got the haptic touchpad here. So uh, one difference between this one is that this one has the haptics. Uh, I opted for that. It was an option. I went with that. And it should be the Sensol technology that they're using here. This is a Sensol haptic touchpad. So one of the reasons I wanted to go with that, 180 degrees, obviously, can go back all the way. And the legendary ThinkPad keyboards here, let's give it a listen. Got the track point, a, an inherent part of the ThinkPad DNA. And then, of course, uh, this really nice material here, magnesium alloy, really light. I got to tell you, this is really light. Let's get a measurement of the weight. All right, let's uh, put it into kilograms here. And I want to see the difference between these two here. So this 
Uh, this is the one that it's uh, sub one kilogram. So this is the lunar lake and 9.80 or 9.79 kilograms or 0 0.979. And that, of course, is two pounds, 2.5 ounces. So the new one here that I have here with Arrow Lake is going to be a little bit heavier. So this one is 1.13 or 1.129 kilograms, and that is two pounds, 7.8 ounces. So you're going from sub one kilogram to a little bit over a kilogram. Not too bad in terms of the weight. And I got to say, it's still very portable. It's extremely portable. Now, let's put on the uh, power cord and the power charger for your travel weight here, 65 watts. And there's your cord there, 1.355 kilograms, and that is two pounds, 15.8 ounces for a total travel weight. So it's still very portable, even though it has slightly more weight than the Lunar Lake version. It looks the same, actually. I shouldn't say it's thicker. Uh, there's definitely the same footprint here that you get on both. So the new one on top here, and then, of course, the same port selection there, if you want to see it there. And then on this side, again, very, very, well, the same, really. There's nothing, no difference there. The only difference is, and you could probably see it here, is that this one, or you probably can't see it there. Let me go here. Uh, this one has a nano SIM card slot for the 5G modem, right? So there it is right there. All right, as far as ports are concerned, on the left side is a USB type A, two USB type C Thunderbolt 4 ports that are full function, and your nano SIM card slot if you go with the optional mobile broadband. That is what I did. So there is that slot. And on the right side is your power button, your 3.5 millimeter microphone headphone combo jack, a USB A port, HDMI 2.1, and a Kensington lock port to round out the ports on this unit. All in all, a very good port selection, notably missing no micro SD card reader or full size SD card reader. But that's uh, just a little nitpick. Again, I would like to see it, but of course, they want to keep it under a kilogram on the, or at least a or a kilogram or a little bit above on this one. Uh, so not surprising there. But I would like to see those two Thunderbolt 4 ports split up, one on each side, making it more convenient. I don't like when these brands keep them on one side. Now, interestingly enough, on the ThinkPad X9 that we looked at, both the 14 and the 15, uh, they have split ports. In other words, one on one on the left, one on the right. So it makes it more convenient. Just wish it was here in this uh, unit, but not the case. And of course, the difference on these two are going to be in the trackpad. Of course, uh, this is a Sensel trackpad haptic and the traditional mouse buttons, of course, on this one. So that is a difference between the two. Of course, this doesn't have a touch screen, so you'll have to use the mouse to navigate, but this one does. Uh, supposedly. So let's get it booted up and we'll be right back. All right, let's uh, boot it up for the first time and we're going to get a look at this beautiful 2.8K OLED display. Hopefully it's the touch is the option I chose. Hopefully that's the one I got. Obviously, this also has the Aura Edition stamped on it, or at least on the screen here. And that, of course, is a partnership between Lenovo and Intel. It will look at that, of course, on another Lenovo laptop as well, if it didn't already get released. And that is the Lenovo Yoga Pro 9i. I'll have my video on that. If it's, I've already probably released it by the time you see this one. So either way, they both have that Aura Edition, some extra features between Lenovo and Intel. All right, so let's continue in English. And guess what? It is a touch display. That is good to see. Uh, let me choose United States. And keyboard is gonna be the US layout. And I wanna skip adding a second keyboard layout. And let me connect to my network. Now, one thing to keep in mind, there is a cellular modem on this one. I did go with that, so I'll have to put in my SIM to get that connected. I'll do that later. I don't have a much of a connection in my studio. Uh, just terrible reception, but I will test it out and let you know how that goes. Now, so far, this haptic touchpad working as expected, very good responsiveness, good haptic feedback in the limited time that I've used it, but so far, so good. Again, Sensel haptic touchpad should be here, so very, very good. Uh, with the OLED, of course, uh, 2.8K, 2880 by 1800, 120 hertz. It's also got the deep blacks, the super vibrant colors, the really high contrast ratio. So really good in that regard. And we'll test out the touch layer. And really, it's got a nice anti-reflective coating on it as well. So not too much glare and reflection. That is pretty good. We don't normally see that, but good to see it here on this OLED. 
All right, so there are some key differences between Arrow Lake and Lunar Lake. This one has 12 cores, 14 threads, hyper threading, so that is there. This one does not. This is Lunar Lake, eight cores, eight threads, no hyper threading. That's the difference CPU wise, but GPU wise, integrated graphics are better on Lunar Lake. Intel Arc 140V graphics are better than the integrated graphics here. These are not Arc graphics. So you're going to see less graphics performance. Although to me, CPU performance is much more important than graphics on a travel laptop like this. I don't do any video editing on this. I'm doing web browsing, I'm doing spreadsheets, I'm doing Word documents, I'm doing email. That is what I'm doing on this. So CPU has more prominence than GPU. Now, this one, of course, can play some games a little bit better than this one. I'll show you all the numbers when we do the full review, but uh, if you are looking to do some graphical work, a little bit of Photoshop, a little bit of uh, Lightroom and stuff like that, light 4K video editing, you can do it on the Intel Arc 140V. I don't know. I'll test it on this. My suspicion is 1080p video editing is possible. Uh, some older games, lower the settings is what's possible on this. But CPU intensive tasks will be better on this. Of course, I'll bring you all the numbers in the full review. Now, another key difference is the amount of RAM that you can go with. This tops out at 32 gigabytes. This tops out at 64, and that's the one I have here. Integrated, obviously, this is not, or it's soldered. It's not uh, upgradable by the user. This is system on a chip where it's integrated. Again, not upgradable by the user on either one. Both have upgradable storage, which is always a plus in my book. Now, a couple of things to note about the displays. Both are 120 hertz. Uh, obviously, uh, they both have very good resolution, 2880 by 1800, 2.8K. Now, this one's 500 nits. This one's 400 nits. So the one with the uh, touchscreen is 500 nits. This is the one on the Arrow Lake. The Lunar Lake is the 400 nits non-touch. So that is the difference, both 120 hertz, very smooth. Now, I am liking this haptic touchpad a little bit better than the standard touchpad, but that's just me. Uh, I just find it more responsive, and you can fine-tune that in the settings. But this one is good as well, but this one just seems a little bit more fine-tuned as far as I'm concerned. Now, you can see this is definitely brighter. Let me lower it down a little bit so it doesn't blow out the camera. So stay tuned. I'll have more to say on this Arrow Lake version of the X1 Carbon Gen 13. We'll compare it to the Lunar Lake version, see how battery life is. Obviously, graphics are a little bit better on that one than on this one, but the CPU is better on this one. So again, it's a give or take. It depends on what your needs are. Uh, I like the fact that you can go to 64 gigabytes. I'll test out Linux on this in the full review, and I'll tell you that's going to run. It should be okay on this. And I'll see how that 5G modem is working as far as taking this on a trip. I do have a work trip coming up, so uh, I will take it. Obviously, I have an event to go to. Uh, I will see how it will perform on the road. And of course, having this thin and light laptop is certainly a big benefit when it comes to doing business travel. This certainly can fit the bill, especially with such a great keyboard, great haptic touchpad, Great display, so far really looking good. So stay tuned. That full review and comparison is coming very soon. So please hit the like button. And if you are a casual viewer of the content on my channel, why not consider hitting that subscribe button? It doesn't cost you anything and it helps support the channel as we make our big push for 250,000. That was my yearly goal, but it looks like we're gonna hit it any week now. We're very close. So make sure you do hit that subscribe button. It does help support the channel. Now, if you're gonna buy something like the ThinkPad X1 Carbon, either the Lunar Lake version, which is that one, or the Arrow Lake, this one, uh, check out the links in the description description below yes they are affiliate links no it's not a big commission a small commission that helps support the channel helps keep the lights on here in the studio so until next time this is andrew and i'll see you in the next video